Hello and welcome to the ON TV Cooking Show. I'm Joe Johnson, and once again, I'm joined by Ian Witherspoon. Hello, sir. Thanks for coming out. I can't believe I'm back again. <laughs> I cannot believe you asked me back. It goes by quickly. Yes. And you get a free meal. Hey, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Now, when we're shooting this, it's the uh, the first round, the wild card weekend, and the NFL playoffs are uh, coming up this weekend. Okay. But by the time you see this, it'll be just before the Super Bowl. So forgive us if we make any incorrect predictions. But we're going to talk a little football uh, while we talk about some uh, a, a Super Bowl food, classic Super Bowl food. We tried to do it in the past, like with the chicken chili and stuff like that. Uh, today, what we're going to do, one of my favorite meals to make, and like Putty said on Seinfeld, why can't dip be a meal? Why does it have to be a snack? So we're, we're going to make a layered nacho dip. Uh, I love making this. It, it Usually being a single guy living alone, it usually lasts me a few days, and it's one of those things where it gets better every day, I think. So you a fan of nacho, uh, layered nacho dip? Oh, Am I a red-blooded American? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. It's so tasty. And, and there's some flexibility where you can add and subtract things to your taste. I'm going to go over the ingredients here in a second, but um, you can uh, do different things. You could make it your own. Um, but this is basically the recipe that uh, my mom introduced me to, you know, 40 years ago. Uh, my sisters make it, and I make it, and I absolutely love it. So what you need, uh, the first layer, the bottom of the dish, is uh, refried beans. Now, a few years ago, I discovered a spicy jalapeno refried bean, uh, which adds a little bit more kick, kick to the dish um, instead of just plain old refried beans. And so I like with a li little bit of uh, jalapeno in my refried beans on that first layer. Joe likes his dip spicy. Exactly. A little bit, not too much. Uh, the next layer is uh, ground beef, so we have some ground beef here, and that's going to go into the skillet that we have warming up back here. Uh, we're going to add some taco seasoning and stuff once that gets browned. That'll be the second layer. The next layer is a sour cream sauce that we add just a little splash Ooh. of mayonnaise to. How about that? I, uh, that's what I was told, so that's what there I do. Uh, so you add a little bit of may mayo to the sour cream uh, dip, and then you add some more taco seasoning. So you're gonna need two packets of taco seasoning, one for the ground beef, one for the sour cream layer. Um, and then on top of that, we got some shredded cheese. I may have overdone it. I, say, uh, I don't know if we have I enough. Need, but <laughs> dude, that might might need to run out for another bag. Uh, so yeah, I may have overdone it. Now I, I got to say this about the cheese. Uh, my sister made uh, this layer dip uh, a couple of months ago, and I made a plate of it. I took a bite and I said, "This tastes different. What tastes different?" And she said, "I grated the cheese by hand." And I think she used the cheddar cheese. Mm. And something about grating it by hand made it taste more flavorful. So I tend to cut corners. I buy the shredded cheese ahead of time. But uh, if you shred your own cheese, it was very, very tasty. It was very good. Nice. Um, so that'll be the next layer. And then on top of the cheese, you can add your veggies. Now, again, I don't want to spend a lot of time chopping and dicing, so I just buy some pico there you go. Um, salsa. You can buy mild, which is here, uh, but there's, uh, there's medium and then there's hot, whatever your taste is. Uh, I like to add mm -hmm. uh, some pickled jalapenos on top. Uh, that's my preference. Uh, but my sister, she's added uh, avocado on top, Ooh. olives. Uh, yeah. There's all different kinds of things that you can add on top as far as the, the veggie layer. Uh, so, again, it's up to your taste, whatever whatever yeah. you prefer. Do you have any preference of what you would put on your top layer as far as veggies go? I, call me crazy, but I love avocados and mm -hmm. I love green olives. Yeah. I know a lot of people do black olives on this tip, but the saltier the better for there me. There you so. go. Green olives. So, yeah. there you go. All right, so let's get started. Um, first thing we're going to do is brown up some ground beef. So, let's brown Ian, it. I'm putting you in charge of the stove. Here's a knife to slice the plastic open. All right. We're going to get that browning on the skillet. That's one of my uh, Christmas gifts that I got this year. It's a brand new skillet. Nice. And so Good we're going to brown that up. Uh, you just want to kind of stir it occasionally, get it brown on all sides. Um, and once it gets really close to being brown, 
Uh, then we're going to add a cup of water and taco seasoning to add that uh, that uh, flavor to it. So, Joseph, do we have a spatula for the uh, stirring? I do. Here, you know what? You can use that. We'll you try. Throw that in you. there. All right. All right. So we're going to get that browning. Next up, let's uh, huh, let's open up a can of. The spicy jalapeno uh, refried beans. I'm hoping this can opener works fine. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. Right. Now, I just kind of brought a, a single guy baking dish. Yeah. That's usually plenty for me. But if you're going to be making this for your Super Bowl guests, you're going to want a bigger uh, baking dish. Um, depending on how many people you plan on serving. If I'm coming over, you better have two of those pans. <laughs> <laughs> so I got two cans of the refried beans. Let's see how much of the base the refried beans cover. If I can get it out of this can. There it is. Uh, oh, that only was half of it. But you want to cover the entire base of your baking dish with the refried beans. Get the can really opener mic'd up here. Really What's that? Get the can opener mic'd up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's the first can of refried beans. Now we're going to kind of smooth it out. Here, let's use this. Use this serving dish to smash it out. Yeah, so one can gets pretty thin on the bottom there, so I think we're going to need that second can. Can't have enough beans either, in my opinion. I know. It's, they're so good. Especially the spicy ones. I'm uh, looking forward to trying Have you that. ever had the jalapeno uh, refried beans? I don't think so. I, I like that brand, it. though. Rosarita, what is yeah. it? Something like that. All right, Good so stuff. there's our second can. That will give us a nice first layer. So we're just going to smooth it out. All right, next up, once we got that all nice and smoothed out. Nice. And then play. We're going to do our sour cream uh, layer. So... We've got our daisy sour cream here, and you're going to want to just dump that entire container of sour cream in here. Nice. I usually just oh, yeah. give it a squeeze. And now, daisy is a, a proud sponsor of this program, too, right? <laughs> That's right. So thank you to I'm the folks at daisy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you got the sour cream in there, and now... It's a brand oh there's a brand new thing of mayo so you got fingernails see if you can peel that off of there I should have opened it up ahead of time ah. they'll make it easy to eat that mayo <laughs> you throw that on there give a, a good healthy squirt in the uh, sour cream mixture there alrighty. That should a little be, more? That, I'll give it one more squirt. Something in the middle? There you go. All right. So you squirt a little mayo into the sour cream. And next up, uh, do we have scissors? Scissors? I don't know. How hard is it to open Where's this? that prop kit at? I don't know. <laughs> Here, let me see that thing. Do we try it this way? I should have brought some scissors. Hmm. Oh, might need to do your... <laughs> Do your push-ups, folks, before you uh, try to open the scissors. We'll make a quick edit. I'm going to grab some scissors real quick. All right, you're going to need a pair of scissors to open up your taco seasoning. I got the original here. There are different types that I've seen in the store. Low sodium, and there's like a cheese mixture. Ooh. Um, so there's different types of taco seasoning that you can buy. I just, um, I'm going with the original. There you go, so that's the best. Let's mix up. Was there an extra cream. sodium option? Because I would take that option. Extra sodium. <laughs> <laughs> you could always add some. 
True, true. You know what's funny? A, a salt and pepper shaker in my place lasts about five years. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't go through really? a lot of salt and pepper. I don't necessarily need to salt my food. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I talked about this on past uh, cooking shows, but I have what they call um, super sensitive taste buds. I'm really? considered a super taster. Ooh. And so food is always very flavorful for me. So I don't find myself uh, salting or peppering my food a lot. Interesting. So if food, if you make something that tastes bland to me, that's a slap in the face because wow. uh, <laughs> I'm very, very sensitive to flavors. Interesting. I must be hard of taste. <laughs> <laughs> do you put a lot of hot sauce and stuff on? Uh, uh, I do enjoy hot sauce. I do. Yeah, I do. Especially cool. eggs, stuff like that. Yeah, my brother like puts put hot sauce on everything, and I don't. I, really? I might put a little hot sauce in chili or something, but yeah, yeah. So, all right. So that that's our good. that's our. Now we're gonna put that over the ground beef. So we'll do the ground beef first. I think we are so, ready for the seasoning there right. as well. So cut that open, dump that packet in there, um, and then you're gonna want to pour about a cup of water. All right. Uh, over the top of that. So throw, dump that water in there, and then we're going to stir it up. Now sometimes um, it's recommended that you drain the fat from your ground beef. I try to buy lean ground beef so there's not a lot of liquid fat grease after you're done. Um, but sometimes I'll have a colander in the sink and I'll dump the ground beef into the colander, let it drain a little bit, mm. then add it to the to the layered dip. But okay. if you get lean ground beef, you shouldn't have to worry about that too much. See, for me, maybe a topping could be just drizzle that fat <laughs> on the final product. Now you're talking. Yeah. Little little garnish. At a the glaze. Top there. Yeah, yeah. Do we need to cover this? Or no, I don't good? think so. Okay. Um, we'll let it simmer a little bit. And uh, when that's ready to go, might want to dump some of that liquid out, but okay. um, in a little bit. Let it yeah. let it simmer. So while that's simmering, we're waiting on that. Uh, the the playoffs are going to be kicking off this weekend. Lions. Everyone's just fired up about the Lions. We have Matt Stafford coming to Ford Field to take on the Lions. You couldn't script a better story. The the, the NFL scriptwriter should be proud. Um, what are your thoughts about uh, Wild Card Weekend in this Lions Rams matchup? You're right. They couldn't have scripted it any better. Um, and for the Lions to have true success, I feel it's the only way mm -hmm. to get that man back here. And future Ian, I don't know. Do we beat him? Do we lose? Is it miserable? I don't know. We get to see who got the better end of that trade. Um, hey, he's had his fun, okay? <laughs> he won his Super Bowl. That's true. And I, I like the, the passion on our side from, from Jared Goff. I feel like that anger is yeah. a better motivator. Yeah, the fact that we kind of got screwed over during the Dallas game, I hope they use that. I hope that feeds them. Yeah. Um, my biggest concern with the Lions is their secondary. Oh, yeah. Uh, in that uh, last, pre or the last regular season game against the Vikings, they gave up some big, right. big passing plays to Jefferson and Addison. Uh, and I don't know if you've heard, but the Rams are good at passing. They got a guy named Cooper Cup and this young art upstart named <sighs> Puka Nakua, who, if they don't make corrections in the secondary, the, the passing game of the Rams can have a monster, monster game. Um, now, I, I have no doubt that the Lions will do their best to keep up with that. So I'm pre the, the, the biggest thing I could say is it's going to be a shootout. Uh, I'm predicting 70 points. Whew. If the over-under on the game, I heard it's like 50, 55, or whatever, wow. I'll, I'll take the over. Right. I think right. it's going to be. Wouldn't you agree? It's going to be over. I, I don't know. I don't know. Because, you know, the Lions' strength of their defense is their rush defense. Right. Okay, and, and so, if they yeah, can stop they the can, Rams. Yeah, exactly. The running game, yeah. If they can shut that down, if the pass rush can get home, those are big ifs. Yeah. Those are tough. Uh, you know, I mentioned Goff. How does he play? Is, does he, is he nervous? Is he, does he let it loose and they're slinging it all over the yard? I really think the Lions are going to try to run 
the snot out of the ball yeah. and just keep Stafford on the bench, enjoying the scenery since it will be his first playoff game at Ford Field. Yeah. Uh, you know, so. And you know who I think has a chip on his shoulder is uh, Amon Ross St. Brown. He, Big time. he was, has been vocal about being left out of the, um, Pro, the Bowl. Pro Bowl, and I think he has something to prove. He had that monster catch against the Vikings that was, what, 85, 90 yards, something like I that? I think it was 70, but yeah. Was it 70? I it believe was a monster so. catch. Right. I think he has something to prove. I, uh, so these guys, they want it. They, they have something to prove. It's going to be a great game. He's an L.A. Um, kid, too. SoCal yeah. kid. So yeah. it's kind of his hometown team in a way. Yeah. The national spotlight, Sunday Night Football. And as far as further down the line in the playoffs, I think the Lions – can go toe to toe with the best of them. The one team I'm afraid of is in the AFC, the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah. The, the Ravens spanked the Lions pretty handedly earlier this season. Uh, they have the game film, so hopefully they can learn from that. But that's the one team that I fear in the playoffs. Yeah. I think the Lions can beat just about any team in the NFC. If we are playing against the Ravens, I almost don't care if they spank us again because that means we're in the Super Bowl. In the Super Bowl, exactly. And if we can go out to San Fran or take care of business against any other NFC team, man, what what a successful season. Yeah. I know you want to win the ultimate prize, but from where we've been to get to the Super Bowl would, man. It's exciting. Be crazy. Yeah. Be be slaying a lot of demons. Yeah. You know, it would be great. Yeah, and it's, it's fun to be a Lions fan. So. It, when have you ever said that in your life? You know, early well, there, 90s maybe? The, you know, the Barry era, yeah. uh, Wayne Fonts era, that was a lot of fun. I went yeah. to a lot of games. As a matter of fact, I watched the Barry Sanders uh, documentary just recently, yeah. and it prompted me to go dig up some tickets from that era. And I went, during the Bear, Barry era, I found 17 ticket stubs. Nice. I went to a lot of Lions uh, games during that Barry yeah, era, and that awesome. was a lot of fun. Oh, uh, but great. yeah, the past decade or so, not not so fun. Even right. though we've had moments, we've had Megatron and, and Stafford and all that, but it's never a real belief, right? You know, yeah. You've never Every been talking about that. Started out like, yeah, we can do it, and then two weeks into it, you're like, there's always next year. So. By Halloween, we're doing mock drafts. So. <laughs> That's right. All right, I think we're ready. You we're can turn the, the burner off. Uh, do you feel we need to drain that at all? or? Oh, a little drain might help, yeah. All right, Let's see if you can successfully drain some of that without okay. dumping it all in the sink. All there. right. I meant to bring my colander, but I wasn't sure if we were going to need it. Quite all right. But So we'll drain the, the ground beef, and then we'll add that as the second layer on top of the beans. And then it's just a matter of assembling and eating. And so that's what I like about this dish. It's uh, not a whole lot of cooking, uh, just browning the ground beef. It's fast, it's easy, it's tasty. Uh, and like I said, you could adapt it to your taste. Uh, people will love it at your Super Bowl party. And uh, you know, just make sure you have some uh, tortilla chips ready to go. And uh, like I said, uh, there's some nights where I'll just eat it as a meal. I'll have it for dinner. It's just that good, that filling, uh, that tasty. So, I agree, Putty. I agree. All right. Well, we probably you can still need this. dump that in as our second layer. All right. Maybe could use a little more draining, actually. Yeah, but that's all right. We'll scoop some in. Try to leave a little out. Spread her around. Man, you know what also would be good with these, um, uh, like Frito, the big Frito dipper things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, the scoops. Ooh, the scoops. There you go. Yeah. Those with this type of dip, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, the other thing that's great about this particular layered dip, even though you're you're grilling up the, the ground beef and browning the ground beef, it's actually good hot or cold. I agree. You could refrigerate it pull it out for the Super Bowl party, and I've seen people just scoop it onto a plate and start digging in. Right, right. Um, now, occasionally, I'll, th- I'll throw some on a plate and put it in a microwave and heat it up, get that cheese bubbling a little bit, but it really is good hot or cold. Okay. All right, so there's our ground beef layer. Next up, we got our sour cream mixture. So let's get that in there. Mm, 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 mm.
Oh, baby. I'm interested to see the, uh, if I can tell there's a touch of mayo. <laughs> I can really taste the mayo <laughs> in this. All right, so there's our sour cream layer. All right. All right. And next up, hope you don't mind me licking my finger. Nope. We're going to open you up. Don't mind me licking the dish here in a bit. The shredded cheese. Someone once told me that I uh, keep the dairy industry in business. <laughs> my fridge is full of sour cream, cheese, uh, all kinds of dairy products. So Are you a milkman? I do. I love milk. Nice glass of milk? Yep. With peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Whole milk? Um, yeah, I there do like go. some uh, whole milk. There you go. All right, so there's our shredded cheese. As I said earlier, you can grate it if you want, but... That I sounds like a nice to touch, the grating. Yeah. But this looks, this is good stuff. Now what cheese is it? Is it this Mexican is, style? This is just okay. Kroger. Yeah, this is four, uh, four cheese uh, Mexican blend. Um, that's what I prefer. All right, next up we got our Pico. Oh, yeah. And I uh, had a spoon here. We'll just use this. We'll just kind of cover that with some pico and spread it out. Nice. And th this pico usually has um, tomato, onions, uh, there's some green pepper in there. So really this throw. saves you the trouble of, of right. dicing and cutting. For sure. It's all in there and ready to go. And, uh, and it lasts a few days in the fridge, but I wouldn't let it sit too long. So use as much of it liberally. Right. Uh, on the, the dip. And then finally, Ooh. we got our pickled jalapenos. And just like a, oh. oops, I spilled some jalapeno juice on there. Sure. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, I don't think that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that when I get a spoonful of this stuff. I want as many jalapenos in that spoonful as possible. So nice. I give it a, a liberal coating there. So there you go. There's our finished layered nacho dip. Very flavorful. Are uh, you a big Mexican food guy? Do you mm. love your Mexican food? Absolutely my favorite. I, I can eat Mexican food five times a week. I just Amen. love it. I often do. Um, <laughs> so here's a couple of plates. All right. And grab that... Uh, Grab that spoon there and scoop some onto your plate. Oh, whoa, baby. <laughs> Open up the chips. That kid's going to have to come back here and clean up. <laughs> Got a lot of dishes to do. You want me to scoop some for you? Yeah, I'll take some of that. After this is actually my dinner tonight. There you go. Oh, yeah. Look at those layers. Mm, mm, mm. Get you some more jalapeno. All oh, right. All right. And there you go. There's the easy to make, very quick layered nacho dip. Very tasty Whoa. for your Super Bowl party. So, do uh, you want to go out on a limb and predict who's uh, going to be playing in the Super Bowl? No. <laughs> All right. I, I think the Ravens are going to make it. I really think the NFC is up in the air, but yeah, let's go with I our agree. Lions. Ravens, Lions, Super Bowl Sunday. We'll see. I'll be crying. All right. The whole enjoy day. and enjoy the Super Bowl, and uh, we'll see you next time on the ONTV Cooking Show. See you next year.